All right, this video is on momentum, and the objectives are as you see here. What does it tell you about an object and formula? We'll get to this tomorrow. You like? And the first thing, this is momentum. There's no, this isn't going to be going with any textbook page. We're only going to be doing this for about nine days, and then it's going to be finals time. So this is going to be a short kind of two topic quiz in two weeks, topic a week. So with momentum, there's your definition. It's the measure of moving inertia. How much force does it take to stop something? And as a review, Newton's first law, inertia, object's tendency to keep doing what it's doing. And the formula is right here. So the formula you'll need, the M's were taken. So P is momentum. M is mass in kilograms. V is velocity in meters per second. And as for like the units, well, if we have one kilogram of mass times an object moving at two meters per second, then its momentum is 2, and its units are kilogram meters per second. Inertia review. Which of the following has more inertia? A big boulder rolling towards this person trying to stop him, or a small ball? And I hoped you all picked this one, A or B. Well, the answer is A. An object's tendency to keep doing what it's doing. And an object that's in motion wants to stay in motion. So the, and the more mass it has, the more, well, it wants to stay in motion. So let's copy down this example in your notes using the momentum formula. This way we can practice um, doing some math problems. We've been doing a lot of writing. This unit will be mostly math. I like this unit. I say unit. It's really two topics. So copy this down, pause the video, and write it. And then here's your setup. Mass equals 1,000. I know velocity equals 5. And it's asking for what is the momentum. So P equals question mark. So the formula is P equals MV. P equals 1,000 times 5. P equals 5,000. And the units are kilogram meters per second. Okay. Now, that was pretty basic. Here's maybe more something like what you'll see on the test. I would like you to put these in order from most momentum to least. So you have to solve for each one and then put them in order, say, maybe you think it goes B is the most, and then A, and then D, and then C. These are the order. So pause the video and try to solve for these. Here's the answers. This is 380 kilogram meters per second, 30,000 kilogram meters per second, 320,000 kilogram meters per second, and 20,000 kilogram meters per second. So you should have had it written out as BCAD. Next. Okay. What about this one? If all these three objects have the same momentum, which one must have the most velocity? Which do you think? Pause the video and think about it. Now, important thing to note is here's a train. And here's a bicycle.
And thing to know about momentum is that when an object, if two things have the exact same momentum and they collide, they're going to stop each other perfectly because their momentum's equal. And momentum is a measure of how hard it is to stop something. So if this object, this train, which has huge mass, has the same momentum of this bike, which has tiny mass, in order for them to be equal, the velocity of the bike must be big, and the train must be going very slow, tiny v. So if these are all the same, then the bike ha must have the most velocity. Coach V must have the second most. The car and the train with the most mass must be going the slowest if all the momentums are equal. All right, last thing I wanted to um, go over with you guys is just the relationship. What happens to momentum if mass goes up? If something's moving fast and then it's you try to stop it and it gets bigger, well then it has more momentum. So momentum is directly related to mass. If mass goes up, then momentum goes up. Momentum is also directly related to velocity. If it's going faster, well then it has more momentum. So momentum is directly related to both of these things. That's why its formula is a straight line. They're linear. It's not indirectly related. That would be, when you divide, that makes it indirectly related. But these are all multiplying, so they're all directly related. All right, that was it. Uh, there's going to be a practice worksheet for you to go through, and then tomorrow we'll do impulse.